Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my carnival. Come one, come all, where I'm gonna showcase a bunch of mentally ill people. <laughs> the Acolyte, did the most talked about show of the year. I feel like that's actually probably true. Uh, it wasn't the most viewed show of the year, which we will get to in just a second, but uh, boy, howdy, did people talk about it. <laughs> However, the show has been canceled. No season two for the Star Wars series. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize just how passionate some people are about the show. Like, I mean, it honestly feels like the brewing <laughs> of another Zack Snyder cult to some extent. Where people are like making petitions and much like Zack Snyder. Some of these responses are, like, genuinely insane. <laughs> so, basically, Disney cares more about toxic, idiotic incels than dedicated, loyal fans who make fanfics, fan arts, tweet every day about the show, make edits, and promote it everywhere. And here's the thing. There definitely are acolyte detractors that kind of fall into those camps. I actually made a video talking about how so much of the discourse surrounding the acolyte is stupid, for lack of a better word. But the reality is, is that not all of it was that. The show, for a lot of people, just wasn't very good. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of is what it is, you know what I mean? To act like Disney canceling the show is because they want to appease the anti-woke retards is just silliness, goofiness, tomfoolery. Oh, the message was loud and clear, and then there's a gif of the witch lady saying, the galaxy is not a place that welcomes women like us. And then the quote tweet says, black women aren't wanted in the Star Wars universe. Plain and simple. I even let go that we are, as always, the villains. It's saddening and infuriating. I love this world, but it obviously doesn't love me back. Here's the thing. The person that she's quote tweeting is retarded. <laughs> to act like witches in media is like an overbearing woke message that's being injected into Star Wars is beyond stupid. Like, yes, throughout history, witches are treated as outcasts. That's kind of just been a thing. And listen, I'm not a premier Star Wars lore expert, but weren't the witches, like, sequestered on Dathomir? And, like, I, I don't think you really see them walking around, like, Coruscant or whatever. I don't know, to act like that line in the Acolyte is, like, like some insane woke propaganda being injected into your beloved franchise is, it seems pretty idiotic to me. But... To then, like, take that and extrapolate it as, oh, the Star Wars fandom just doesn't want black women. Well, yes, there was a lot of hate that was thrown at Amandala Steinberg and, you know, the lesbian space witches or whatever. And even the villain from Obi-Wan. I acknowledge that. But do you want to know something else that those situations have in common? Not just the fact that they're black women in Star Wars. The shows were not very good. <laughs> I think a lot of those people just didn't find those characters compelling. I'm just saying that if Star Wars makes a project with a prominent black female character, and it's like actually on the level of Andor, I don't think that you're going to see the insane backlash. And then you have this loyal soldier going, I'm never effing going to bat for Star Wars again. Absolutely atrocious when this show was going viral every single day on here and had multiple renewal campaigns by the fans. They've shown where their priorities lie and it's continually catering to a crowd of toxic incels. How are we simultaneously having like the toxic incel people saying that Star Wars is catering to the woke people and then you have the woke people, I guess now insisting that Star Wars as an actuality only caters to the toxic incel people. Like, what are we talking about anymore? <laughs> like, you have this person here saying, What if George canceled the prequel trilogy after the backlash of The Phantom Menace? What if Dave canceled The Clone Wars after the backlash of season one? You can't give in to hate 
when you believe in your work and the story you're putting out, especially when that story is connecting to so many fans. The Phantom Menace, while, yes, was Garbaggio, made a billion dollars. It was a success. <laughs> the Clone Wars didn't have a $180 million budget. It was a fairly low stakes animated series that sure, go for another season, see if it finds its legs. The Acolyte just doesn't have that liberty. It had a $180 million budget. So you know what? Let's get into the data of how well it actually did. The news is not entirely surprising. The Acolyte did okay with critics with 78% on Rotten Tomatoes, but divided Star Wars fans which was reflected in its overall viewership. Driven by interest into the venerable space franchise, The Acolyte got off to a strong start when it launched June 4th with two episodes, generating 4.8 million views in its first day on the streamer to rank as the biggest series premiere on Disney Plus this year. The tally rose to 11.1 million views globally after five days of streaming. Corroborating Disney's data, the series made its day butt on Nielsen's Top 10 Originals chart in its premiere week at number 7, 488 million minutes viewed, climbing to number 6 the following week. But the Acolyte could not sustain the momentum, dropping out of the Top 10 in week 3 and staying off before returning at number 10 after the release of the finale, 335 million minutes, believed to be the lowest for a Star Wars series finale. I don't care how many petitions you make. I don't care how talked about the series was on social media. It didn't translate into viewership. It's not catering to toxic incel whatever to not continue with a series that is very expensive and just was not received well. Like fellow global streamers, Netflix and Prime Video, Disney Plus has a high viewership threshold for renewing high-end big budget series that cost well above $100 million per season to make. This is just business. Disney is not catering to the toxic incel whatever. They just can't really justify making another season of a really big budget Star Wars TV show. And yeah, I just wanted to make this video to point out that there truly are two sides to this mentally ill culture war coin. Like, yes, there very much are the anti-woke side that are complete morons that honestly, like most of their criticisms of the Acolyte, I genuinely like can't even fathom how you think that. Like, I don't want to get too deep into it, but if you hold the opinion that the message of the Acolyte that the filmmakers were trying to get across was that the Jedi were evil and that the witches were the like absolute good guys. I like, I don't know what to say. We view reality differently, <laughs> but then I look at the people that I talked about today that can't rationalize like basic realities of filmmaking and not even filmmaking of business of this thing. Really expensive. We no get big return on investment. So we not going to invest more. Like it's very easy to understand. Uh, it truly doesn't even have anything to do with the culture war stuff. I don't know, man. I, I truly just look at the culture war discourse and it is just, it really is just nonsense and tomfoolery. And uh, a lot of these people are just silly geese. You know what I mean? Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.